Well, I'll get you a quick bit of the AC box that's had the new evaporator fitted uh, and various new resistors and relays and uh, low pressure switches and whatnot. So that's all that's now ready to go back in. Um, I'll take you inside and show you the uh, engine bay. In the paint shop now, that's the uh, engine engine bay painted. I'll just get up here so you can see a bit better. Uh, so we're giving the inner fenders and whatnot a coat of uh, satin black and the heater box. We've put a new uh, heater core in there, you can see. Uh, God, that was a job and a half getting that thing in and out. But we're there. Um, so yeah, all looking, all looking very nice. Yeah, so there you are. I will, uh, like I say, I'll get this, um, I'll get the chassis outside and do that. We're given the radiator shroud a coat of black, and we've also uh, inside the car. Uh, you can see we've done. There were some holes in the rear fenders, uh, great big holes actually, where they've welded on an extra seat belt mount onto the chassis. So we've glassed those back up, uh, and you can see from this side, you'd never ever know they were there. So that's all good. So that's a nice repair on there. It uh, looks like Spaghetti Junction at the moment. Um, has been a real trial getting that AC box or the heater box in there, but we're 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 there or thereabouts. Um, once that's done, we'll carry on with the altering the pedal box, uh, so that and the steering column can go back in, and then we'll look at getting the body back on the chassis. So we are getting there, uh, and well, we're getting there very very quickly. Actually, you know, we've really fast tracked this one through. So there you are. I'll do a bit more as things move on.